ready to roll out. Hello YouTube and welcome to Antirox on Gaming. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the range specialist Sergeant Hammer. This is an awesome tank slash artillery character that has really cool abilities and a lot of lot of really awesome talents. I'm going to give you a newbie perspective or basically explain to you how to play as her and also give you an idea of what the good, really good build for her is as well. And here we are, we are a tank, but also an artillery. You can actually attack from this distance right here. Uh, and this is your main, main, main feature here. Uh, this is the E ability that turns you into a tower that can attack, attack from a distance, but you can't move until level 16, at which point you'll get a special talent. Now, what is this character like? Well, first of all, you have to decide, are you going to be playing mostly as a tank or as a tower? I'm going to go for a tower build just to show you what it's like uh, and show you why I really like it as well. Uh, but you can, you might actually disagree with me and prefer to play as a, as a, oh my god, oh, I didn't get her, um, as a, a tank. I do prefer the tower, so this is why. I'm going to transform into tower and start attacking their towers. And essentially this is how you will be able to uh, destroy most of their structures. You can actually stay out of their range. And as long as you you know when to escape and how to be mobile, you'll be able to uh, annihilate their structures because you also do splash damage when, when you're in the tower mode. Uh, you can also you also have a skill called Spider Mines, which also protects you. It places these three mines, which will jump toward an enemy and also uh, do damage and slow them down as well. So always have these uh, beside you or somewhere next to you so that you don't have to worry about uh, about being attacked. By, by enemies. Then you have another ability here called Concussive Blast, which basically in this particular arc, uh, in this arc it will actually do this. I'm gonna wait for someone to get close to me, but first I'm gonna kill this tower. Here we go, here we go. It basically... Oh! Oh, so close. Right, I'm gonna go heal. Um, uh, what it does is essentially... Uh, it knocks people back and does a little bit of damage to them. So this is actually a very, very good ability to use uh, because it does have a um, relatively good knockback and it will usually save your life. Uh, now, your trait here is that you actually do more damage to far enemies that are farther away from you. So the farther your enemies are, the more damage you'll do to them. Um, which is actually really important. So you'll always want to attack enemies right here because you'll do more damage to them as opposed to enemies that are close to you. Oh, hello, Mr. Chen. Let's uh, knock you back and you need to die as well. Alright, so I lost a lot of health, but I can actually, um, in a second I'll show you what I'm going to take. I'm going to, need to take a special talent that will heal me really, really oh wow, relatively quickly. Alright, run away. Now you also have a, a talent or an ability called thrusters. This, this is what I just used. Uh, it increases your speed by 60% and uh, gives you an ability to, uh, for 4 seconds, and it gives you an ability to basically run away or chase someone down. So this way you'll almost never die as long as you stay in mobile. So let's look, look at the talents. At level 1 you get Regeneration Master, which increases your health regeneration if you collect these uh, orbs, but it's not very useful for this particular character. You have these other four choices which are more, which are much better. Ambush is very interesting because w what it does is when you actually siege up like this, you will actually become invisible. And the first attack will also do extra damage to, um, to the enemy. So it's actually, uh, I personally think it's super, super useful. Okay, hello dragon, come over here. Come to me, my friend. I'm gonna kick your butt. I'm gonna just stay here, wait for him to get here. Uh, these guys are... Oh, they have a tank too, apparently. These guys are not as bad as I thought they would be. They're actually doing doing well, they're doing well. But their dragon is gonna go down. I'm gonna knock him back and kill him. And kill their tank too. Now, um, so you have ambush that will make you invisible. You have resistant, which will basically, what this creates is um, while in siege mode, it gives you uh, resist against roots and other crowd controls by 75%. So you, you basically don't get as rooted and as stunned as other people. Their dragon is almost dead. That was a waste of dragon. That was a total waste of dragon. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna play more defensively here. Little Blast increases the damage of your Concussive Blast, which is your W ability. It gives it 50% more damage. Come here, come here, buddy. Oh, you son of a son. I'm gonna catch up to you and kick you in the butt. There you go. Take that. Alright. Uh, 
So you can also be very successful as a tank. You don't have to actually be a tower to be successful, but I do prefer the tower mode. Uh, you also have advanced artillery, which increases the damage uh, to range targets. So this is actually very useful to take because it will increase your DPS by 10%. But I personally like either this or this. So let's take this just for fun and I'll show you what it does. So right now I'm going to go cloak, zoink, and I'm going to wait for him to get here because he can't really see me right now. As soon as he gets here, I'm going to attack him. And ba-boom! Ha, ha. Oh, crap. Run away! Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Ha, Vala, you thought you got me. You didn't get me. Uh, that was a good uh, ambush, though. Level 4. We have excessive force, which doubles your knockback. Mostly for this ability right here. That was the force of knockback. Male storm shells increases the standard basic range of your attack by 20%, so it gives you even more range, so it's actually very useful. Uh, focus attack increases your uh, damage by 50% every 10 seconds, but this is the one you want. Vampiric Assault. This will heal you every time you attack someone, which is how you're going to be healing yourself. Who's this? Is it good or bad? Good person. Alright, let's help him take these guys down. And there we go. Yeah, excellent. Follow him. Uh, now, level 7, there's slowing mines, which basically increases the slowdown effect and uh, the time of slowdown effect for your for your mines. Then there is... There is, there is, there is... And there is a tower that you need to take down. Uh, then there is hypercooling engines, which basically reduces your thruster cooldown from 30 seconds to 20 seconds. I don't think it's very useful because, you know, 30 seconds, 20 seconds, there's really not that much difference. And then there's first aid. This is super useful. I'm going to take this because this is my extra healing skill. So now I have this emergency heal, meaning that I will most likely never die. If I'm playing correctly, I should never, never die. And this guy should die now. Oh, crap. And they will... Uh, okay, very good. Heal and run away. So you see, first aid is very, very useful. It has a one minute cooldown, but you will almost never die if you're using it properly. Uh, at level 10, we're going to get our Heroic, and I'll show you what it is. It's actually... Uh, I really need to start running with people. W wait, where are they calling me? I'm going to start playing a little bit smarter. Normally, I would be using uh, the uh, the AI mode to, to show you how to play as a character, but I decided to actually play with other people, just to show you that this is actually a very excellent... I mean, this is an excellent character, and you can easily survive attacks by many, many people. You can, I mean, you're not a, uh, you're not a glass cannon by any means. You're actually a super cannon. You're a super cannon, and she is a dead. Ah, oh, so, that was so close. That was ridiculously super close. And I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna get her. Ah, I got her. I got her, jerk. That's right, take that. And you don't get no dragon. A few. All right, so there's two choices here. One is blunt force gun, which is essentially a huge shell that you launch across the screen, and this shell uh, damages everyone by uh, 540, which increases with the level. Uh, everyone that it basically touches. Now, I personally don't like that skill a lot. I, I mean, I don't like that skill mostly because it has a 70 second cooldown. And uh, even with the, the heroic upgrade later on, it doesn't really do that much. What it does is it starts circling around the battlefield every five seconds. Oh, hello, Vala, you're back. Back for some more, eh? I see how this is. See how this is. Vala, I'm over here. Vala, come over here. Oh, Vala, I'm sorry. Are you are you damaged or what? I'm sorry for making fun of you. But you're dying now. You're gonna dead. You're gonna be dead now. Come here. Come here. Come here, you jerk. Come here, you jerk. I'm gonna heal myself. That's right, run away from me. Jerk. You jerk, you jerk. Alright, I'm just gonna destroy the tower. I, I could have just waited for here. This is actually a very... The talent I took before is absolutely excellent for essentially uh, ambushing people. If they decide to sneak up on me, I can sneak up on them. But I'm gonna just destroy their tower first. Uh, and this will heal me because I'm, I took Vampiric talent. Now, I'm going to take Napalm Strike, because I'll show you why. It's a lot better, and it's a spammable heroic that you can use every six seconds. Right now, I started using this, and I'm going to take this and do this to this guy, and he is going to run away from me because he's a jerk. Oh, I'm sorry. What? What's that? I didn't hear that part. Oh, no. Valo's here. Valo's here. Valo's here. Valo's here. Oh, you got me. 
All right, so that was probably one of the few deaths that will occur in this game, mostly because there's three of them and they really coordinated really well to, to get me. Level 13. We have Barry, Barry, Barricade. This is a very useful skill which will create a wall um, in front of you if you use your Concussive Blast. It's super useful because it creates a four second body wall. Not body, but stone wall. But so people cannot pass or run away from you. Super useful. I'm gonna possibly take this. Bullhead Mines gives you middle mine a little bit of knockback. I honestly have never noticed that knockback. It's not as useful, I personally think. Then there's first strike trade, which basically deals 25% more damage if you haven't been attacked for five seconds. Now that means you have to be really resilient and not being attacked. So not particularly useful. Giant killer increases your damage to heroes by 1.5%. Also not particularly useful. I'm gonna take this and I'll show you why. Because look, I can now... Okay, that is not good. That is not good. That is not good. That is super not good. Stay, just stay here. That's right, Vala, run away, run away, run, run away, run away, run away. Oh, tank is here. Oh, there's so many of them. There's so many. Oh, booma, boom chakalaka. All right, let's uh. And heal and attack. I can't reach him. Ah, he was almost dead. Oh, so close. But I'm not gonna let them take the dragon. They're over my dead body! Over her dead body, too. Alright. Uh, so, yep. Two of us, even though we're actually half dead, have basically, we've basically, uh, what we did is we defended this position and took care of their little problem that is a bunch of heroes trying to take the dragon. Oh, you jerk. You killed him. But he was my friend. Alright, so it looks like three of the other heroes that were... Uh, below us, they managed to neutralize that position, so now we can start... Where are you? Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really, sir? Come here. Oh, he got me. That was a 1-1-1 battle, but we got each other somehow. Oh, yeah, because I cast my heroic and it killed him. All right, so level 16, so we got stone skin, which increases your health by 30% for five seconds. Uh, graduation, graduating range is very useful. If you stand still uh, as a tower, you will actually increase your range by 100% after, what is it? Maybe 15 seconds. Now that means you cannot move. So if you're invisible and you cannot move, this will give you a really awesome sniping range. Um, hover siege mode is even more useful. This makes your siege mode mobile. You can now move around. This is what I'm gonna take. This here spawns two, uh, five mines instead of three mines. And this here executioner uh, gives you basic attacks, 40% more damage as long as the target is crowd controlled. I'm gonna take this because look at that. I can now turn into a tower and move. And now on top of that, I'm invisible. Nobody can see me. I can literally just sneak up on people now and go Okay, I was gonna attack this guy. And go... Mercenaries. And go... Okay, I'm kind of, let, me, let me strike something. Jeez. Alright, there's nothing to strike. So, but basically, you can now... You're literally a, a striking assassin sniping thing. That is really awesome and snipey. And can do crazy damage. So, don't forget, you do double damage from that, from that particular mode. From the... Uh, uh, from the mode where you are essentially... Invisible. Invisible mode provides... Oh crap, there's two of them. Run away. Use the thrusters. So make sure to always use your thrusters because they are very, very, very useful. They will always save you life. This is... Instead of the horse, you get the thrusters. So this is how I usually play as this character. I normally, if I'm playing carefully and not talking, not recording, I almost never die. Uh, because even though you don't have much health uh, and stuff, you are such a resilient character. You are crazy resilient. You're just crazy, crazy resilient. You will almost never die. And uh, be able to do some amazing damage. Oh, hello. Can I attack you? Oh, can I attack you? Oh, I think you're dead now. That's right. I don't know why he was standing there. He saw me moving toward him. And he, had, he did nothing. Okay, I'm gonna invisible myself here. And wait for the enemy to get here just to snipe someone. Who is trying to get this? Alright, so he's not gonna last for very long if he does that. 
And I'm gonna try to get him. Move away! Oh, I'm using my thrusters. Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? I don't care. I'm just gonna kill their tower. Val is here. You have to be careful, Vala. She is a troublemaker. And what I'm gonna do now is I'll show you what you get at level 20. So far, this game is actually progressing quite well. And we just killed their tower there. I need to heal up a little bit because I'm not doing so well. But as you can see, because I have first aid and my vampiric skill, I usually have full full health. Usually. Not always, but usually. But I do need to be careful now. Let's actually heal up. Use first aid instead of the fountain. And there you go. This is our dragon. At the level 20, there will be an excellent upgrade to your um, heroic and also your... Uh, Your uh, alternative, you can upgrade your main main attack. So it's actually it's actually a super awesome upgrade that will give you ridiculously high DPS. But right now, because I am a moving siege, siege tower, I don't even have to leave my form anymore. I can just approach these towers without worrying too much. So here we go. You can upgrade your napalm, which will give it more range and more damage. Somewhat useful. You can upgrade your other skill, which will turn your bullet that you launch into a, a sort of a projectile that circles around the area every five seconds. Now, this is actually interesting because you can technically destroy the enemy nexus just by launching it toward the nexus, and it will continuously return toward the nexus, which is... I would like to try one day, actually. I would like to see if that works. Because if that works, that would be an awesome way of destroying enemy nexus. I just never really take that ability. I prefer the Napalm. And then there's Fury of the Storm, which basically every five seconds gives you, uh, gives your character. Oh, so close! She didn't die. She did not die. She did not die. Um, what this does is that gives your character uh, extra damage against minions and targets around, uh, around you. But also, heal up. Watch this. Run away. And let's stay here for a second. And basically, what this does is it d gives you a bit of more splash damage as well. So, and not, not as useful as this. This is ridiculously powerful. Increase speed and attack range. Speed and attack range. Are you kidding me? Look at that. I can stay, stand right here. Pommel this guy. Nobody stands a chance against me now. Nobody. There's no way they could have won this. As long as you reached level 20, you are a ridiculously powerful um, killing machine. So, this character is... Super awesome. If you haven't played as Sergeant Hammer, give her a try. And the best abilities and the best talents to take are as follows. So at level 1, what I would totally recommend taking is Ambush. Now, it might be useful to take this as well because this gives you a little bit more DPS, but being invisible and getting that extra damage on the first attack, super useful. Also, if you once you start moving as a Siege Tower, you can essentially sneak up on people and just not worry about being detected. Uh, at level 4, definitely take Vampiric Assault, because it will heal you and you will need that health. Uh, at level 7, first aid is another heal, that will basically save your life many, many times, you won't have to die anymore. Uh, level 10, this is basically your choice. If you want to try to use the missile that flies around in a straight path and damages everything in its path, take it. I personally like to spam my uh, my heroic, so I usually take Napalm Strike, because not only does it do impact damage, but it also does additional damage over time for 4 more seconds. Then we have level uh, 13. At this point, I would take Barricade, because I haven't actually used it much in this game, but this, is, this creates a wall around you, which really, it's awesome. It protects you um, from people. They can't really access, uh, they can't really reach you that easily, especially after you knock them back. Or it essentially traps them um, in front of you so they can't run away from you. Then at level 16, this is where it's a choice between, maybe you want to take a little bit more mines, so this will give you more mines. Maybe you want to take uh, the graduating range, which slowly increases the range of your uh, siege damage, but I almost always take this. This gives you a siege movement ability, so you can now move around as a tower and really w not worry about transforming anymore. Although it's still useful, especially when you're trying to run away or chase someone. Uh, also, don't forget that you do get, instead of a horse, you get the 
a uh, special ability called Thrusters, which increases your speed by 60% for 4 seconds. At level 20, so Orbital BFG, that's a very interesting ability, which basically turns your missile into an orbiting missile that returns every 5 seconds. I think if, um, unless you die, uh, if you launch this toward a Nexus, it may actually kill it with time, that is. An enemy Nexus. Uh, this here gives you an strike 75% increased range and also 50% more damage, so quite useful. Uh, Fury of the Storm, like I said before, it um, gives every 5 seconds it will give you additional damage on the target and also splash damage to target near it. But this is what you really want. Increased attack speed and increased attack ran range. If you have the Vampiric Strike, it means you can heal yourself really fast. So that's basically Sergeant Hammer in a nutshell and she's totally awesome, give her a try. And that is it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Check out some of the other Heroes of the Storm videos that I've posted. And game you later, guys. Bye-bye.